Guys, all I can say is I'd have died and went to heaven. Gift cards, Cabela gift card, 25, 40, and a Visa gift card. Oh, man. Y'all know what it's time to do from here. Ain't nothing left to do but that right there. Make some noise. Jesus. <laughs> I took off the $40, mm -hmm. down to $7 Seven even. Here we go. Out of <laughs> What's going on, noisy neighbors? Well, I got uh, a few things with the bonus. Just a little light to spend a gift cards. Look, these are two dollar gift cards that totally for $65. I added $5 to them, and I got a box of 100 and nine millimeter rounds. 35 and another box of 35 so that's 200 rounds 200 rounds of nine millimeter for 70 bucks so the gift cards came in handy um i seen some 300 blackout ammo but i i, I found a deal online so i'm gonna order i'm gonna order my 300 blackout um, 300 blackout ammo and i'm um, also off topic, but <clears throat> you guys remember I showed you the uh, dark colored hex mag for the 300 blackout. I got some uh, hex mag tape, so I'm gonna play around with it and see how fancy we can make this uh, magazine look. You know what I mean? And then see how it looks inside the 300 blackout. So um, you guys stay tuned for that. You guys stay tuned for that. Uh, let's see. Let's open it up here. It looks like. It looks like. Um, to me it looks like the tape is the same exact color as the mag. So I don't know what how that might come off. I don't know. But I think it's two sided. But let's just see. Because it's not really doing nothing for me. If it's going to be the same color as the mag. Like a lighter color will look decent. Yeah, this kind of looks the same color. Oh, no. It's lighter. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's lighter. Oh, it's lighter. It's lighter. I think it might come out funky. Um, I never played with the um these uh, stickers before. So, how do they say? Guys, I better read the instructions. 48 or oh, 46 pre-cut hexagons. Time to put the glasses on, baby. 48 pre-cut hexagons. Oh, so the shape, I can't even see them with my right one. Maybe I need to take the back off a little bit to be able to see. Let's see. Because I'm thinking of a design that'll look decent on the mag. I could do every other. There's a lot I could do. But let's see here. What the heck, guys? It ain't nothing to do. Let's play around. Let's, let's, uh, Kind of weird. Let's see. Oh, the sticky side is here. Okay, come off like that. And you just let's see here. What do we want to do, man? Now I'm thinking. Do I? I think I'm. Do I just go with like a racing line? I could go with a stripe across the middle, like. And these hexagons, like four stripes, like on a slant, like just two strips on a slant might look dope. Or should I just go straight down, like a like a like a like a two line straight down, or just one line? I think a cross will look better. I'm thinking a cross angle stripe might look doper. Let's see. If I don't like them, I think I can always rip them up, rip them back off. Yeah, I'm thinking a stripe. Let's try here. Oh, this is funky, guys. Oh, this is gonna be funky. Look at that. Oh, there's always been a little mark here on this. Yeah, a little dirty mark, but look at that. So I'm thinking, like Connect Four style, one, two, three, four. 
and then another. Let's add some funk to it. What the hell? Whatever to that, guys. How y'all like that 300 blackout? Did it run or what? Did y'all like that 300 blackout vid? Bro, it ran like crazy. It ran, guys. It ran. It ran. That sucker ran. I, all I ran through it was 100 rounds. But I was dumping it and pumping, wasn't I? It ran, bro. I like that. I ain't gonna lie. You don't feel no extra kick to me. Um, I expected it to be louder, but it's probably because I had on two sets of headgear, two sets of ears. So, but what I do, what I did notice, I think it was funner. It was very fun to shoot. I just liked it, the super speed of it. I think that was that nickel, the nickel boron bulk carrier, gave it that speed, man. But um, yeah, that was dope. Yeah, I think y'all gonna like this. I might go every other. Ain't that funky? So what should I do? One line, guys? Or I'm thinking I should go every other, bro. Like, bam, skip one. I think skip the one above it. I'm thinking, bam, skip one. Let me skip one and see how that makes it look. Let's skip one and see how that makes it look. But yeah, man, I'm hoping everybody had a great holiday. It's just a good old time, man. It felt good to be out at the range. Guys, man, this is therapy for me, bro. Keeping it real. And I'm sure it is for a lot of you. That's why I love uh, our, this community we got going here at Big Boy Noise, you know. Um, just you guys tuning in, man, and see what's going on. You know, I'm not rich, so it's not always a new firearm, you know what I mean? Although amongst us as a crew, we got a, a lot. <laughs> we got a lot going on. We got a lot of eye candy for you, but I love running the guns, man. I love the therapeutic part, um, the part of uh, knowing that you're doing it like to protect your lives and your loved ones. And also, I like the part of just challenging myself to get better and better at shooting. You know, shooting is a, a fun pastime. It's like fishing, you know what I mean? Shooting is fun, man. And you don't got to be a hunter to shoot. All you got to do is like the therapeutic side. I like the therapeutic part of the breathing... The focus in the eyes, the taking my time, the muscle, the relaxation, the right tight grip, throwing around down range, seeing where it lands, finding out how to correct it. That's therapeutic to me. That's therapeutic to me, man. You know, a lot of people could have some other uh, bad things that they go out and do. Like, I don't do a lot of uh, party. I drink on occasion. I don't do a whole bunch of drinking. I don't always got a bottle or a cup to my mouth, you know what I mean? And um, I don't smoke, I don't get high, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just trying to live a, a, actually a godly life. You know what, this one, I like how this look, y'all like that? But this one is sticking out like it needs to be cut. And I don't have what it takes to, oh, hold on. Yeah, this one like look like a razor. A night, I need, I'm going to get a razor just to make that clean cut right there. But what y'all think about every other? Or should I just do two right beside each other just as a nice little stripe? I really don't know. I'm trying to get a feel for it. Every other, or do I just do two? Every other looks kind of dope. But um, anyway, like I was saying, I don't do a lot of drinking. Don't do no smoking. I don't cheat on my wife. I'm a family man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm perfect. I try to withstand from all the temptations that come along with this world. You know what I mean? And to do that, I think that one needs pastimes. Some hobbies, you know, some good hobbies. You know what I'm saying? Now, one area that I would like to see this uh, particular hobby improving would just be some people donating to help a little bit that enjoy the channel. Um... Cause I believe in unity, guys, and I think we could do a lot with numbers. They're just talking about, look at how many uh, gun tubers, you know, or you guys who make gun content videos follow me. Imagine if every gun tuber all took turns like, okay, this time on this day, we're going to uh, donate this guy 
this gun tuber five dollars. Everybody out of their cash app. It's simple. Five dollars, man. Five dollars, dude. McDonald's costs more than five dollars nowadays. If every gun, I'm not saying every one of my um that'd be great if everybody, all four hundred of my subscribers did it, but if just the people who make gun videos, like maybe just the twenty of you who do gun videos, we check each other's content out and we talk to each other all the time. Just imagine and it don't have to start with me first. If we just all chose to bless one of you, if 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 ten of us gun tubers chose one gun tuber and said, yo, let's all donate ten to him, he would have a hundred bucks. And he would be able to go and get maybe some mags or some different things that he really need or some really replenish his ammo. And then the following week, other people might say, hey, let's let's bless whatchamacallit. We could start something cool like that. Let's bless him with ten dollars. You know what I mean? For all the work, all the times we've loved his videos and watched them over and over and enjoy, you know what I'm saying? All the knowledge that we pulled in off his videos, let's all just donate him $10. Just 10 guys. Or imagine if it's just 20 guys who do uh, gun content videos and they all just chose $5. $5, guys. That guy will be blessed. 20 guys blessing the other gun tuber with $5. The guy that you talk to all the time and chat with. He walks away with $100, man. He get the red dot he want or he could get and but so he could get something that helps him. He really will feel the love, bro. I, I'm not. I'm an authentic dude. And some of you guys, I know that um, throw your cash app up, or that's like gun tubers. You could say that you remember getting a donation from Big Boy Noise, or you know what I mean. You can say it, like you can, you know what I mean. You can say, you know what he did. Bless. Him. I don't care if it's just five dollars. Just something to make you say, hey man, I appreciate what you're doing. I, I see what you, you know, just something like I appreciate what you're doing. You know, I see you. That's all it says, man. I encourage you to keep on doing what you're doing. I believe in what you're doing. I believe in you, you know? That's what I want to see more of, guys. If there's one thing I want to see more of in um, 2023, it will be that, guys. Let's be dope, man. That's going to be cornballs, man. I think you guys are dope. You know, for real, for real. Let's be decent, man. Come on. I know it's just computer, but dude, I'm not a computer. I'm a real person, dude. I really, you know, and all of us are. I spend money on, you know, on this am man. Thank God for those gift cards. You see how those gift cards just blessed me? How much it blessed me to be able to get 200 rounds of nine millimeter without having to spend my own money. That's all I'm saying. Let's bless somebody else. Let's pick a gun guy that's following big boy noise. And let's just choose a guy that's in the chat that's in the comments. Maybe we do something like that. A guy that's in the comments and just say, all right, guys, everybody who make gun content. I'm not even, I mean, I would love if everybody who watched the channel would bless. But if there's everybody who do gun content, man, five freaking stinking dollars, man. I've, it's, I think it's um sad that I've never received. I'm keeping it real with you. I've never received, besides from my brother or my father, I've never received through my gun channel. Just a $5 cash app, bro, since I've been putting it up. Just a $5 donation. And I, and I want y'all, people who know me and know I'm a thorough down-earth person, I know that y'all know that my heart is right. But I want people who really, you know, I want y'all to really see, like, yo, he, he's just talking his mind right now. I'm really being truthful. I, I just put this in the wrong hex. I think I just put that in the wrong, yeah, because I started on this side, I did it like this. On this side, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I got distracted. So y'all messing me up, man, being cheap out there. <laughs> yeah, I put that one in the wrong hex, man, that one. Oh, God, it don't want to come up. Whoa, these things are real. Okay, I put that one in the wrong hex. I'm going to put it in the right hex now. But yes, I'm babbling, guys, but seriously, bro, let's be thorough, bro. I'm, I swear to you, that's how I roll. That's how I really roll in real life. That's why you probably see a lot of people show me love. I'm really a thorough guy. I'm not like, I'm thorough, bro. I'm thorough, man. I believe in, like, being decent and thorough. And I ain't just talking. If there's a gun tuber on here, I'm sure there's at least one or two who felt like, yo, no, big boy, he did come through. And you know what? Some, and then there's some gun tubers that don't follow me, but they don't even know it was me that, you know, blessed them or they don't know what I do or whatever, but I, they've been blessed. You know, sometimes they might be live or something. I just say, man, I'm just going to donate five, five dollars to this person. Just, just to do it, just ho in hopes that there's more out there who just do it, saying, you know what, let me just give this guy five dollars. I do stuff like that, guys. But um, this Hex Mag joint is coming along pretty dope, man. I'm just rambling. If you bored, go ahead and turn the channel. I'm just rambling. I never really did one of these uh, just random rambles. But that's what this is, man. Maybe that's what I'll title it. A random ramble. 
a random ramble. I'm just rambling. But at the same time, I'm uh, decorating this, this, uh, shoot, decorating this 300 blackout. You dig? I'm decorating this doggone hex mag, y'all. You know what I noticed about 300 blackout? Those rounds you seen me use on the last video, they were all, they all held 30. Only mag that won't hold 30, the only mag that'll only hold 25 rounds of 300 blackout. It's the door, was, it was the, um, just for your guys' information out there, like I said, that's what we do, we pass on information. It was the amends mag. The amends mag only holds 25. So the men's mag is more just like like for two two three. It holds three hundred blackout like all of them do, but only twenty five. But as far as the hex mag and all the aluminum door mags, they all hold thirty. And this hex mag held thirty. It holds thirty also, so it deserves to be designed, right? But we come along. Let's see how. Let's just real quick give y'all a quick sneak peek at how it looks inside, Ooh. or how it looks inside the gravel guinea. Let's see how it looks like out of the Magwell, right? Let's just get a little quick peek. Give y'all a quick peek. Let's see how that would look. Oh, guys, I did the right thing. That's funky, guys. What you think, though? I think that's kind of funky. <laughs> that's funky. And then my other ones, I'll do some just thick stripe. But I think that's kind of funky. And I think I should go up one, two, three. I'm going to go up one more. One more. I think that's kind of funky. I think I'll go up one more and it'll show a little bit, right? The one right going into the magwell. I'll go up one more and do that one also. But yeah, that's what I want, guys. I appreciate all you guys that have been following, but I want some thorough followers out there, some followers that's willing to build us guys who do gun content, man. Like that little bit of information I just shared with you about the... um. A men's mag only holding 25 or 300 blackout. That's that's information. That's information that you didn't have to find out on your own. Or with your own money, your own dollar. That's information, bro. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all probably like, yo, big boy doy, is he tripping today? But I'm just keeping, I'm just giving y'all the other side of how much better we could be as a folk. As a as a two way community, guys. Ah, I'm putting it in the wrong thing. Here we go, the right one. Yeah, I'm saying that's how better we could be. These hexagons are something. Yep, we could be better in the two way community. I'm gonna get a razor tomorrow to these little rough edges. You see the edges that's peeling like that? A razor. I'm gonna clip them. I'm gonna clip them clean, guys. Watch, and they're gonna just be fitted like that. Watch. I'm gonna get a razor. I'm going to get a nice razor, and it ain't to cut no coat. They probably going to be looking at me crazy. I'll go on and say, can you have any razors? <laughs> it would be over ask for a razor and a plate. Nah, I just want a razor because I want to really, I'm going to make the cut on these because I want these to just, I want these to really be dope. But guys, I'll show you the finished product in a minute. I'll add it on to this video. I'm not going to ramble no more because I know y'all don't want to hear me because I'm talking down to earth talk right now, so. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear building. Y'all just want to just keep having fun, which is fun. But guys, I'm just keeping it real. Everybody you know that make gun content, they will have much more fun if once a week they could receive, or once a month they could receive five hours from 20 people and just be able to go and do something to um, increase their content, whether it's camera, like it's a million things out there that money helps you do to increase your content. Whether it's ammo, like I said, range fee. This stuff is real, guys. So I, you know, I ain't got no problem saying it because I've never received a dime from anybody. So I would love to, you know, other than my brother and my father. So I would love to be, and I've donated to people, you know. And I'm not saying that I donate to people to get stuff back. Let's clear that up. I'm not, like, I don't give, because I've never named anybody who I've donated to. I don't give to get back. But what you put out in the world is just the natural, it's the kind, it's the law of the land. You sow, you sow what you reap. You do unto your neighbor as you want done unto yourself. I see somebody doing content. I bless them because I want somebody to bless me also. But I don't just give and, to, and hold record and say, oh, remember I gave you this. You know what I mean? If that's the case. It's like I know somebody like, man, take your little measly $5. I 
I'm not talking about the amount. I'm talking about the concept and the mindset. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know if this is these glasses that, you know, I know they make me look smarter and more intelligent. If it's the glasses that got me talking like this, it got me in business mode. <laughs> but I'm really being real with y'all guys. But um, it's coming along. You know what I'm saying? I think it's cool. It looked kind of cool in the gun. I'm going to get some razors. And I'm going to do that one more. I could do that one more while I'm right here. Why I got y'all here. I know this is a lengthy video. I'm going to do that one more. That one more row. The row that's going actually up into the... Uh, I'm going to do this row. Just, just, let's see how this looks. The row that's actually... It's going to look weird. It's probably going to be a rough place to put it. And it probably come off in time. We're going to put it... put it The row that's going right into the magwell. Remember where I showed you the one that's going to be like closest to the magwell? Let's see here. Let's just mess around with it. Let's do it. I think it's going to be rough. It's going to be a hard pull, but why not give it a shot? Nothing beats a try. Nothing beats a try. And I know one thing about adhesive. When I did the um, grips on my, um, where's that? My XD45 a long time ago. When I did the grips on my, um, the talent grip, see how the talent grip that up? Really nice. Really beautiful, man. When I did those talent grips, the gun is clear. But when I did the talent grips on that thing, I used a blow dryer. Oh, I muzzle flashed myself. I definitely broke a rule right there. But my, you know, it was empty and my finger wasn't in the trigger guard. So I didn't break two of the rules at the same time. But regardless, I muzzle flashed myself. But yeah, this, uh, I used a blow dryer to make it stick all the way. Once I put it on, I don't think I'm going to use a blow dryer there, but a blow dryer really gave it that final oomph, that final compression to the stick. But look, I'm going to do it like this. I'm about to do this final row. That row going to the top. Let's see what it's going to look like. And please, you know, if you don't want to hear what I'm saying, if you got something better to do, by all means, go do it. But this is for those who just, you know, messing around and want to kick it with big boy noise a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I think we should just name this Random Talk and Shopping with Big Boy Noise. What y'all think? Crazy. I know I'm crazy. I know. I've been accepted a long time ago that I'm just kind of crazy. But y'all know, if y'all like me, you where I'm from, even if you're not where I'm from, if you're living in this earth, you know that this world will make you crazy. Sometimes you got to be a little thrown off just to survive in this world, guys. Unfortunately. Yo, that is... I think that's going to look dope. Check it out, y'all. Every other... Is y'all rocking with me? Let's see how it's going to look. I got a feeling that I shouldn't put it in the mag well right away because I think it's going to just rip it right up because it needs time to dry. But what the hell? I got some more in case it rips it up. But check this out. Oh, ho, ho, swaggo. Is that swaggo or what? I don't know if you like, be honest if y'all don't like it. Because I think it's kind of decent. Then another part of me is like, that's kind of, dude, that's kind of ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's like a part of me is like, that's kind of dope. Another part of me is like, dude, that's ugly as hell. But it's ugly in a cool way a little bit. Then it's ugly in just an ugly way. But it's like, hey, man, it's a gun bag, man. You take it out, you put another one in there. Oh, it stayed on, too. Y'all let me know, man, if y'all like that. And if y'all do, I'll do it on the other side, too. Like that third row going up in, up into the uh, joint ski. Let me know y'all opinion in the comment box, man. And think about the things, all my gun tuber guys out there, bro. Yo, man, I'm not talking about us got those guys who get sponsored. We don't get sponsored. I'm talking about us guys, a couple hundred viewers, maybe a few thousand viewers. And we just do a lot of good content. And we really sincere from our heart. Want to help people. Like, it felt good the other day, man. Um, just helping uh, my homie and his daughter. Did you see that footage? It was on a 300 Blackout video. But, of course, a lot more went on off camera. Just helping them, bro. It just felt good to help somebody, man. That brother wanted to equip his daughter to be able to defend herself. How dope is that, guys? And a lot of people have been telling me that I could get into a lot of other different things for a while. And I think the inside, I've been having that voice on the inside telling me, dude, you know, you're really good at helping people. With firearms and stuff like that. So you never we never know where it's gonna go, guys. But until next time, your boy Big Boy Noise. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And my cash app, if you wanna donate, 
Big Boys Noise. One word, B-I-G-B-O-Y-S, Noise, N-O-I-S-E. Money sign in front of it. Money sign, Big Boys, with an S at the end, Noise, N-O-I-S-E, with a dollar sign in front of it. That's my cash app address. Five hours, whatever you choose to do, bro, we could do it. We And the thing is, we could all do it together, bro. Let's, let's get in. Let me know y'all thoughts on some of the things I talked about. I'll talk to y'all in a little while. And let me know your thoughts on the mag.